Hey guys, what's going on? I got an absolutely massive haul for you today, filled with science fiction and fantasy. I've been acquiring them over the last couple of weeks from library sales and thrift stores. So let's begin. Start off here with a Chronicles of Narnia box set. Got it from Goodwill. Beautiful condition. I am an absolute sucker for a box set. I don't know what it is about the slipcase, but it just holds them all in there nice and tidy. Something about the organization. Books are in varying condition here. Prince Caspian has seen some better days. He was witness to some horrible tragedy. But that's all right, I'll get a replacement for him and this box set will sell very well. Got another box set of Chronicles of Narnia. This one doesn't quite tickle me the same way, but it's a box set. It's complete, it's beautiful. All the books in it are good, good condition. Got this one from Goodwill as well. We got a mint, brand new, pristine copy of Handmaid's Tale, as well as The Testaments, which I haven't read, but this cover, I'm always drawn to it. It'd be beautiful design on both of these, honestly. They're kind of a very simplistic, minimalistic style, but the colors, the color choices really grab you. That's going to sell really well as a set. We got more Dune. The original. These are hard to get as, I mean, they're, they're somewhat common because of the movies and whatnot, but they're hard to get sets of because there's so many different kinds. You got the trade paperback like this one, you got the, the shorter trade paperback, which I don't know the word for, and then you got the mass market paperback. So I think with this trade paperback, I have all of them except Chapter House Dune, so I'll be on the look for that one. But never pass up Dune when I'm in the store. I got another Dune. This one not by Frank Herbert, but one of those by his son Brian Herbert, The Battle of Corin. You can't go wrong with the sandworm on the cover, right? Uh, it's Dune, so it will sell, and it's in, it's in beautiful condition. Uh, these are some beauties here. Dungeons and Dragons Endless Quest Books. These are like a, a choose your own adventure kind of thing based in the Dungeons and Dragons universe. They've got little illustrations in them. If you're being attacked by the rat army, what do you do? Do you run away or do you fight them? I choose to fight them. You are dead. Go back to the beginning. Which is awesome. And they have this nice feel to them as well. We've got Return to Brookmere. We got The Revolt of the Dwarves. We got Dungeon of Dread. And of course we got Mountain of Mirrors. Really excited about these. I, I am going to keep them. I'm trying to limit myself to how many books I keep from each haul. Like what percentage of books I'm keeping versus what percentage of books I'm selling. This one is right on the cusp. I'm probably going to keep it. I might convince myself otherwise. We'll see what happens. Got some more vintage sci-fi here. Some Zelazny. Trumps of Doom. Haven't heard of this one. Oh, but it's Return to Amber which is what I was trying to figure out this other book I have. R Roger Zelazny's Visual Guide to Castle Amber. I didn't know what Castle Amber was, but it must be his big uh, trilogy. I'm not sure if it's a trilogy or just a series. This is a, the new Amber novel. So now I know. Obviously I've never read these books, but it goes into detailed like interior design diagrams of this fictional castle from the series, which is cool. You know, I don't, I don't have much connection to it, but I like when something is so big that it can even spawn its own kind of non-fiction fiction. That doesn't make sense. Cool book. Regardless. We got a 40K novel. Titanicus? I always look for 40K. No matter what it is, it sells. I guess it's very collectible. Found a copy of Ender in Exile, which I hadn't read. I hadn't gotten this far. I read Ender's Game, and I read... Speaker for the Dead. I think this is the third one, but it's another one I'd like to collect, and once you get the trilogy, then I can sell them. Got some more vintage here. The best of Raymond Z. Gallon. Gotta admit, I haven't read this guy, but you can't go wrong with a cover like that. It's going to stay in, in my massive stack of vintage sci-fi that I just like to hoard. You know, that, that's, my, that's my hoarding allowance. Vintage sci-fi, 
I hoard. Well, it's not true, but I tell myself that. We've got Dan Simmons, Endymion. I read Hyperion, I loved it. It was recommended to me not to read the sequels, so I'm not going to. But I figure if I find Hyperion, this is yet another one I can keep a lookout for and sell as a set. We've got this book, We Are Legion, We Are Bob. Which I imagine is kind of like this uh, rare mix of humor and sci-fi, which has only been seen a few times before. Actually, I had seen this at the Goodwill and I passed it up. But then when I got home that day, I saw that uh, Moid, uh, another channel here on YouTube, did an interview with this guy, Dennis Taylor. And I looked up the book and it was actually worth something. So I went back to Goodwill, luckily it was still there. And now it's here. We got Ancillary Justice. A lot of people probably know this book. I read it, I was kind of mixed on it, but it was so popular that I thought there would be a market for it on eBay, but it turns out, not really. But it's a good book in great condition. Here's a weird one, Caesar's Story, a Planet of the Apes book. It's got some nice illustrations in there. It was in this bookstore that was like closing down, so if you, if you bought like three books, they would give you a deal on it. So it took me, it was kind of hard to find three books in there I wanted, because I guess it was like pick clean. I mean, it was a bookstore that was closing, so their inventory was, was strange, but hadn't seen that before. Interesting. Another one I picked up was The Wall of Storms. I have a lot of respect for this author, Ken Liu, but I just, I'm not into these shelf-bending fantasy epics. I'm sure it's great, and it's very impressive that he has the flexibility to write like last video I talked about the Paper Menagerie, which is a really moving, short tale. And with some fantasy elements, but he's got the ability to do that, and then this. Now it's a shame I found this one later because I sold the first one by itself, and now I'm going to sell the second one by itself, which just doesn't feel quite right. But it's rare that you see these, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to wait to find the first one. We got Scythe by Shusterman. It's another one where I sold another book in the series a while ago. But this is the first one. The first one always sells by itself. You don't need any additions. Some classics here. Brave New World. In, a, in this cool vintage classics edition, which I hadn't seen before. Tempted to keep this one, but I already have a copy of it. I read it a while ago. This actually was, was one I want to reread, because I feel like it had a lot of relevant things that are only becoming more relevant in today's society. We'll see. Martian Chronicles, Bradbury, nice condition, not even sure if it sells, but you gotta have it in the store. You gotta have, oh here's another one, you gotta have this one in the store, Fahrenheit 451. I'm sure the market is absolutely flooded, but this was a decent copy, and I didn't have it in my store, and that didn't feel good. So, that's good. Ah, and a vintage copy of That Hideous Strength, C.S. Lewis. I'm um, not a C.S. Lewis fan. But to be honest, even Narnia wasn't quite my thing, but vintage copy, very interesting cover. Has me interested in what's inside. Don't think I'll be getting to it, though. But, of course, it will be added to my sci-fi horde. All right, now we got a bunch that I'm not really quite sure about. Well, this one, Tolkien's Sacramental Vision, apparently is people trying to find God and Christianity within the Lord of the Rings, which I kind of appreciate because instead of just calling it the devil and evil, people are trying to find ways to enjoy it even with these hang-ups that they might have. So, I don't know, good thing to put out there in the world. Brandon Sanderson, Skyward. I don't know anything about this, but from being on BookTube, I've seen a lot of people into this, so I was instantly drawn to it. I know that will be a good sale. The House and the Cerulean Sea, same thing. I've seen, I've seen this on BookTube, so I know it's, uh, it's popular. I'm sure it's a recent book. I read the back and, you know, it had a very Harry Potter-ish thing, which I'm sure is very common these days. Beautiful cover, too. I like that art. We got some uh, Caitlin R. Kiernan, who I've read before, Black Helicopters. This looks like kind of a horror-type thing. Not sure I'm quite into it, but it's a beautiful little book there. Don't have any Kiernan in my store. And this is one that I don't really like that I have because it's volume three of some, I'm sure, you know, good fantasy series. 
But the odds that I find the other two are slim. And just having like the third book in a random series in my store just kind of rubs me the wrong way. You know, it's kind of like my Zen garden and I want to rake it a certain way. So a lot of times that means not being efficient and not being rational, which is good, which is something I'm trying to do. I'm trying to not be rational, which probably sounds strange. Even though that book will sell just by itself in volume three, I don't like it. I don't like it. And that's all there is to it, I suppose. All right. When we first started out, I, was, I got Hunger Games because I'm like, oh, Hunger Games. Everyone likes Hunger Games, right? That will sell. I was wrong because absolutely everyone... There's like 20 billion copies of Hunger Games out there. But I finally found the hardcover, a nice hardcover edition of this to complete the set so that I can sell it. Probably at a loss, but just it's out of here and that's fine. But also this one, which I think they're making into a movie now, so maybe there'll be some reinvigoration in, in them. But I got all four of them now, so at the very least it will sell and it will be out of here. The Liar's Crown. Maybe someone's heard about that one. Don't know anything about it. I really like the covers on these. The Last Smile in Sunder City, Luke Arnold. It's Orbit. I, I like Orbit. You know, I've, I've read a lot of them and it's mixed, content-wise. But the, the quality of the printing, it has this, some ASMR there. I don't know what that is exactly. But it's very tactilely pleasing. And this one, Dead Man in a Ditch. I think it's from the same world, same series, I'm not quite sure. Beautiful condition books. Another one similar to that, Paper and Blood. Ink and Sigil. I don't know. Beautiful books, though. Alright, that's what I got for you today. It's gonna be added to my inventory. I'm trying to fill it up. You can see I got a lot of stuff shipping out today. I'm actually selling more than I'm introducing, which I guess is good, but really I wanted to fill this bookshelf up. But I guess that's a good spot to be in, right? Stuff sells, that's good. Stuff doesn't sell, I'm gonna fill my bookshelf up. Find the silver lining on both ends? I don't know. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.